What's good, people? Back again with another video. Just before I get into the video, as always, I'd like to request everyone to please like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Come on, man. Support the channel. Help the channel. Whatever. We need more numbers. We need more views. We need more people watching. All that good stuff. Uh, so this one's slightly different, so I thought, mm, you know, I've got quite a few sneakers I wear, um, some I wear more than others, um, a lot of people want to know, you know, durability and stuff like that, um, so yeah, let's just get into it quick. So the first pair of this video will be about the Air Max 95, uh, triple black, so it's the leather version, as you can see, um, I've got the cardboard down because obviously they've been worn outside and stuff. So, as you can tell, you know, black sole, black midsole, black on black on black on black. So, this pair actually, I wore for like, the video dropped on the 4th of April, um, 2021. And today I'm recording it, it's the 17th of October, 2022. So that's about a year and a half ago i dropped that video um let's say just for argument's sake i didn't wear them in the last six months because you know summer whatever let's say i just wore them for a year on and off obviously not every day but i did wear them for like a year on and off winter beaters whatever um so this pair obviously i haven't washed them i haven't cleaned them i haven't touched them for this video uh, we'll get into what I'm going to do. I'll probably just clean them up and show you what they look like before being cleaned and after being cleaned. Just to kind of show you the durability, how they hold up and all that good stuff. We start off at the bottom. Um, the plastic bit, as you can see, it's kind of gone foggy. Um, that's normal. A year, a year and a half wearing these. Like literally trashing them because I didn't really care. I always, every every single winter, I just buy a pair of triple black Air Max 95s. Um, in my opinion, it's the best Air Max 95. And, you know, I have to do uh, this video to kind of show everyone how they're holding up. Um, as you can see, all the little bits and bobs on the sole are gone. So usually they'll have like little dots. That's gone which is pretty much normal it's just a way to tell if they've been worn um where on the bottom is actually they hold up excellent because you know that's like really good it's not a thing where you know they're battered or anything and what i'll do is i'll actually just show them side by side to a fresh pair yeah so just to kind of compare the bottoms so this grey pair is fresh, obviously I did that on purpose so you can tell And then this one's not fresh, it's been worn for about a year um, So if you see, you know, it's pretty much held up excellently Like there's no rips or tears that I can see um, So you know, there's not really anything wrong with the bottoms Like these can literally go on for another few years probably um, I might just stretch them to see how long they last um, you can see the little dots on the grey pair And then on here they don't have them But apart from that the wear Like it's not really got that much wear Like at all Like these, these are really sturdy Like proper <laughs> quality I'd say um, Pricing wise you know It's gone up a lot um, Some people don't really agree with it Whatever I kind of have to say it is what it is um, triple black pairs, you know, they're one of those pairs that always go, um, well, they're not really, they don't go on offer, you can try get them a bit cheaper uh, via discount codes and stuff, but you got to be quick. But I'd say, um, investment wise, it's low key an investment because, you know, like, these have been worn for about a year, I definitely think they can go on for longer. So, bubbles wise, you know, bubbles are still holding up, I think this one looks slightly foggy. Ish. Or cloudy, whatever you want to call it Yeah, they're slightly getting a bit cloudy I have to say, and there's quite a few scratches on them um, However, obviously, if you do get them as a beta pair So, for example, me, I've been wearing these in the gym So, you know, they literally flex a lot But still, they're not broken or anything So, <laughs> you can tell I've been wearing them in the gym Because they flex back like that 
um, a fresher pair that hasn't been worn in the gym won't really do that in terms of creasing um, these don't really crease to be honest you can see that they're bending um, a bit but that's literally due to me wearing them in the gym um, so for example you know if I'm doing something and you know they bend of course they will end up creasing so you can see there's a bit of you know creasage there but usually no um, these are just this is just kind of a special one because these have been worn in the gym to run and stuff um so you can tell that they have been worn with the the suede bit so the suede is getting discolored um it's kind of becoming like a hairy suede um you could call that a new design but yeah it's just becoming a bit discolored so the color is running um, i'm not gonna dye them or anything like that definitely not i just don't believe i should or need to um, around the toe box area you can see lines and stuff that's literally because they've been battered um, I'll see if that comes off with a wash I hope it does it doesn't look like it's anything too much they might just need a clean um, so they might not even be full scuffs to be honest and um, insole even still you know pretty good pretty well um, laces <laughs> the reason I love these laces is because look at that they're still holding up amazingly to be honest um here is kind of dusty if you can tell um that's just because they've been out they haven't really been put in a box i haven't really thought of oh i'm gonna look after these i thought i'm gonna trash this pair and literally for this video like i want to see how they last i want to see how durable they are and literally you know what's happening with them um on the back there are like bits of threads coming loose and stuff but this is literally I'm talking I have not looked after this pair at all um, I've literally trashed them like I've not I've run on the treadmill with them um, I've done all sorts of gym exercises in them I've walked through rain in them heavy rain mud beat them up haven't cared about them at all literally done everything in these you know so that's why they are in kind of the condition they are right now um, the dustiness and stuff, I think, if you just give it a wipe, that's actually a good idea. So I'll just test it now and see if it just comes off or gets freshened up. So I've managed to grab a couple wipes. Um, these are not sneaker wipes. These are literally household wipes. So let's see if the mark comes off or stays on. Those obviously will need to dry, but it kind of looks like it has come off. Um, yeah, literally, they're looking <laughs> fresher already. And this is literally from a household wipe, not even... Not even a fresh wipe. Um, not even a sneaker wipe or anything like that. This is literally one of those um, wipes that you get for antibacterial and all that. So let's just wipe those down. I have to do it on camera because I don't want people to think I switched the trainers around or anything like that. Not even that I'm big enough to do that because that's going to cost me a bunch of money, mate. So literally, I'm just going to give them the ones over with the wipes and let's just see how it is or how they go. Uh, toe box area, all the mesh and stuff. And then the 3M. The OCD is kicking in, so I have to make them cleaner. <laughs> but yeah, just trying to get the dust quick. Just a, a once over, a brush over. Um, I won't do the bottom. That's a bit, you know, whatever. So I'm only going to do one because I want to show like a video on foot on the clean version, the clean shoe and the not the clean shoes so i want to see how they last or they hold up um so that's the kind of cleaner version that's the dusty version we'll just go through it now as you can see you know it's you know cleaner much cleaner um all the marks and stuff have come off so that lever has held up all the abuse i've been giving it to be honest um because you know i've been battering these sneakers so literally, 
you know they look quite well, quite good you can still wear these I could just after giving them a clean or something as you can see look I've literally made them look relatively fresh after just literally giving them a once over with I shouldn't knock over the tripod but yeah look pretty you know pretty freshened up um, I could still wear these anywhere well not anywhere but you know beaters I can wear them anywhere I need to um, if I wanted to run around in them in the gym whatever anything I need to do I can but yeah what I'll do is I'll do an on foot video um, just to see what they look like on foot see what the bubbles are like all that good stuff um, I think I've pretty much covered it all I don't think there's anything else I can cover um, but I hope that this was good beneficial video for yourselves and I hope you know I don't know I'm not gonna say I hope you buy a pair because I really don't hope anyone buys a pair if they can't you know get them so I don't I definitely don't want to influence anyone in the wrong way um, if you can get them do so if you can't you know don't think you have to have them um yeah that's all i really got to say to be honest um just wait a few moments for the on foot video and as always take care people